Hi and welcome to another series of Art Journals. My name is Vilna Furstenberg and I'm very happy to be uh, showing you my process and my art journals. So this is the four of the first of four um, brand new art journal process videos and uh, I'm basically doing the same thing on every one of the four pages. So I prepped my pages with uh, gesso and then once that was dry just use a card to put it on paper thin and I'm using this roller and acrylic paint and this is how I'm going to start all for my little journals um, the pages by just adding a texture of paint so I love this little roller and using the paint with it because it really gives uh, a grungy texture and almost like a graphic look to it and now I'm just going to use Mod Podge and I'm going to adhere my uh, little image here. So these little images are a part of um, a little collection that I have on iHeart Studio. And this one is Mini Class 7. Um, you can see that I printed these a little bigger if you are familiar with uh, the Mini Classes. And you will see that I added a, a special folder to the Mini Class 7 with the bigger images as well as these cut files that I just created here. So you can find it um, in Mini Class 7 under the product, product um, downloads. You will find folder 4 is uh, the art journal one with the bigger images and these little um, cut files. So the cut file I created and I'm going to use two of them in this little this is the other one and you can see it's easier almost to pull the mat from the paper than it is to pull the paper from the mat and I'm just cleaning it up a little bit it really helps if you use a newish a newer mat I'm not sure exactly what the grammar is there, but the newer your mat, the better it will be. Uh, you, especially when you cut out this intricate little things. And you can also see that um, a little tip when you clean your mat, a silhouette mat, just to scrape it down with a credit card. And this can be the same credit card you use or old gift card, whatever, to um, prime your um your art journal pages with. So those are the two stencils I'm going to be using. So two on one, two on two pages, one on two pages and one on the other two. So this is the little stencil. You can see I'm not too concerned about you being able to read what's on there. For me it's just a thing, um, it's more a thing of texture than it is of the text itself. But the text itself comes from Psalms 119, the last few verses in the message. And it's one of my favorite prayers. So why not use something meaningful, even if um, it's something that you're not going to see. So I have one of these sheets, newsprint sheets, that I'm going to keep ready, actually just on the floor next to my um, workspace. So once I use the stencil, just to clean it. And... Uh, the way I clean it is just by scraping it down with the spatula again on that piece of newsprint. And then I will just lift it up and let it dry. So, but you know what? I just want to use it twice. That's all. So I'm using light molding paste and I'm scraping it down like you would butter through almost buttering a slice of bread. So I'm just scraping it down and now I'm going to put it on the newsprint and just scrape it down again. And that way I just clean it. So, okay, so also about the color scheme that I'm working in, for all four pages, this is true, um, I, I use the birds and the illustrations of the birds, those little bird bouquets that I created um, as the, like, the starting point, working with colors. So I decided to use purples and blues and a little bit of greens. And now I actually want to make that green bit in the flower. Um, I want to recreate that color. So I have an almost empty bottle of white. You can see right at the bottom. 
and I'm adding a little bit more white of green a bit of yellow and you can see it's a little bit too green but I actually love this color so I'm just adding a tiny bit more water to it so even if your Liquitex ink bottles and this is what I'm using here Liquitex ink on my blog you can see uh, the link to the related products this these little ink bottles when they get almost to almost empty um, I would keep them because they make a wonderful little uh, tool to mix in colors and to use those colors so okay so this is the first of many layers on this page I'm not going to restrict myself to four layers usually I do four layers um, this time I decided to just work until I'm happy until I feel in my heart of hearts that uh, the process is done so that's how it's going to work for me so it's a weird color right to place on top of the purple that green oh and also baby wipes was my best friend in this process um, so I'm going to let this dry um, the the wording is not entirely dry yet so I'm working very carefully but this is the reason why I work in four journals at once because then um, I can set this one aside and it can dry and then I can go on to the next one. And that's also the reason why I number them because when I edit my videos it's easy to see um, which journal belongs to which video because let me tell you it gets pretty confusing. <laughs> Uh, when you try to edit four videos where the process looks more or less the same um, it's it's hard so I decided to put on these little bulldog clips and I just hot glued a little chalkboard to it so now I can just number them one to four and that way it makes the editing way better and I'm going to share them in the same order one two three four even though the art journal is the 24th art journal that I share publicly. I've done more art journals um, that I've just kept secret. Uh, well, not really secret, but that I've done for workshops and so on. Um, so I've done more than for 24 art journals. Um, but yeah, so that's just the ones that I shared publicly. Okay, so now I'm going to paint with Liquitex inks. And uh, I love this beautiful phthalo green. And I'm going to just paint a little bit. And, and now what I love about the Lucatex inks is that you can use them as washes. Um, that you can just wash over it. And, and I'm adding a tiny bit of black and wetting my brush. And then really keeping it um, as fresh as possible. Um, but just splattering a little bit over my finger also knowing that this is not the final layer of this page and I will be going over it again I am not afraid to use black paint on my art journals as I don't know if you've seen some of my earlier art journals but I can be very adventurous and I think every art journal has to have that what the heck moment you know where you try something that is so daring that just tips the scales a little bit. That's just that one daring thing that you do. And it might work spectacularly or it might be a total disaster. But I have learned one thing in doing art journals. And that is that it's seldom a real disaster. With art journaling you can add more white paint. Um, you can fix things up you can work until it's fine again okay so this green I'm mixing up and I'm going to be adding this stencil to my art journal page I love the stencil I've used it in the starting points um, workshop art journaling workshop that I did which by the way at the end I'll give you a coupon code where you can get that workshop for six dollars off so um, I love using the stencil and I think I took a leaf from that book, from that 
that workshop and just adding this stencil. I think it worked well with the little birds. And um, this green especially just makes it pop. You know, I just absolutely love it. So let it dry. And then now I'm going to start with the detailing. And, um, and this is really one of my favorite um, stages in art journaling is when it's a total mess and I love to tie things up in in neat little packages that's my natural tendency so I I gave myself permission with these four books uh, pages that I did to really just do just that not just you know leave it um, because you can but I wanted to give each page a finished look that when I look at it, I go, oh, you know, and that meant that I'm going to clean up around the edges a little bit. I'm going to blend in a little bit more colors, you know, so that's just one thing um, that I that I loved doing. So I'm painting with white paint, but you'll see in a little bit, I'm going to take a white, uh, a, a wet baby uh, there it is, a baby uh, wipe, and I'm just going to wipe away the paint again, and that way you just soften the edge, so it's not that the bottom layer can shine through, so I'm going to do that quite a bit, okay, and also I'm going to uh, play a little music, and I give you a rest from my voice, and then you can just see what I do, but basically I'm just going to, I call it embroider, that's the best term, I think, to describe what I'm doing here. And it's really just meditating and, and enjoying it and having fun with your page.
beautiful music from soundstripe.com and now I'm just going to um, finish it off. So at this point I'm feeling that um, it needs a little bit of warmth. That's just what I'm thinking. So I'm going to paint with yellow paint and again this is more of a wash. So this is one thing that I am absolutely loving uh, that is I don't want to say discovery but it is a little bit of a discovery that I've made with this set of art journals it's just the washes and and I think it would make a wonderful um, workshop actually just working with washes and uh, and the Liquidex inks are phenomenal um, just working with washes so it's really nice and also have a baby wipe ready just to to work off any excess paint that you feel is maybe too much you can always add it a little bit later so you can see I'm just painting around almost like the background to those little um, feathers uh, or leaves you know and uh, I really felt like it was coming together beautifully with uh, the yellow washes so I'm just going to wipe it off again and now I'm just going to ground it sort of and here you can see the final page with my journaling added as well so I'm loving a Zig Vellum writer to write on my art journals it works wonderful the fine tip because usually it has a, a broader tip and a fine tip and then here you can see um, a coupon code for six dollars discount on my art journaling starting point workshop so up next i'm just going to show you a little preview of all the products that's available in the mini class seven and um and thank you so much for watching my video and i'll be back next week with another art journaling video